Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we read a very important word from the Bible, the King James Version Bible, Old Testament, New Testament as it comprises of. We read in the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18. O oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace been as a river. Yes, a very important point as we try to understand the word. Yes, do we not see how God's purposes are thwarted and deferred by human perversity? At the very time when God had determined upon the election and consecration of Aaron to the priesthood, Aaron was spending his time in molding and chiseling the golden calf. We might have been crowned 50 years ago. Yes, but just as the coronation was about to take place, we were discovered in the manufacture of an idol. The Lord was just ready to make kings of us when we made fools of ourselves, isn't it? It happens many times, yes, because the word here is saying we have to wait upon the Lord. As the word says, he rises to have compassion on you. He longs to be gracious to you. He is a God of justice and blessed is the man who waits upon the Lord. As we read the mighty word speaking to us in Isaiah 30, yes, verse 18. And it says to us, in quietness and confidence shall be your strength, in return and rest shall be your safety. As we read in Isaiah 30, verse 15. Beloved, yes, let us wait upon the Lord. For the word is speaking to us in patience, let us possess our souls. When we have the patience and when we have the faith, we will receive the promises. Yes, the word is true as it is speaking to us in Hebrews as we read in chapter 12 verse 6. Yes, beloved, everything is there for us. We have to just believe in the living God. Yes, and he will bless us as the word is saying to us. Hallelujah. God will provide. Genesis 22. Yes, verse 14. He is a Yahweh Ire. Yes, we have to ask in the name of a living God. Yes, to be a Yahweh Ire. We have to say, Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you. Yes, come in his presence boldly. Pray every day. Read the Bible every day. Pray every day. Read the Bible every day. Every day. For when we pray, we speak to a living God, Jesus Christ. And when we read the Bible, Jesus Christ is speaking to us. What a privilege, isn't it? So, Read the Bible and pray every day. Take out the time as we respect our boss, as we respect our owner, as we respect the director of the company. We have the living God who is the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, the maker of heaven and earth is here with us right now. So let us respect him. The word is saying to us in Zechariah 1 verse 3, Draw near to me and return to me and I will return to you. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Yes, and the word is discovered as we read in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, 18. It is speaking to us. Yes, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. The word is saying here diligently. Yes, seek him diligently. And the word says that he will bless us. And he hears a prayer for he is the God of living, not the dead. As we read in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. What more do we want? He's loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, verse 3. And without any bias, without any kind of demands, he has loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Messiah, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Yes, beloved, whatever your problems are, whether sickness, whether depths, whether it is desperate, you need something, yes, or you are in drugs, you are in addiction, you are at the terminal sickness, the point of death, you are. You are lonely, alone, do not worry. Whatever your problems are, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is a loving father. He is the friend which, yes, nobody can find. He is a loving friend and everybody may leave you in time of utter darkness of your life, in the time of sorrow. When you are in depths, everybody will leave you. When you are in the point of sickness, in terminal sickness, everybody will leave you. But Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. As the word says in Deuteronomy 31, 6, Be encouraged. Yes, behave courageously, beloved. As the word is saying in Second Chronicles 19, verse 11, Yes, and always, yes, pray. 
and come what may, do not forget our living God, Jesus Christ. Love him with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. That is what is only required. Nothing else. No sacrifice. No need of spending any money. You just have to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Only believe. Mark 5.36 And ask what is your request. Read the Bible. Pray. Yes. And he will answer your prayer. There's no kind of any, any kind of sacrifice or doing something out of the way. No. Only believe. Yes. For he's the living God. He's standing there right, right next to you. And the word says 365 times in the Bible, Fear thou not. Fear thou not. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. And yes, the words are true, Isaiah 41, 10. And he will, yes, he will help us. And he will uphold us with his right, his right hand. Yes, he will take a right hand in his hand. Yes, he will do it, for he is faithful. His promise as we read in Exodus 12, 25, Hebrews 10, 23, Yes, and those who hope in thee will not be disappointed. As read in Isaiah 49, verse 23. Yes, whatever is your requirement, ask him. Whatever is your requirement and whatever you require. You can not buy peace in this world with any amount of money. But Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He will give you peace. Just ask him to come in your heart. Surrender yourself to him. And just pray, Lord Jesus Christ, I come in your mighty presence. I pray that you be with me, yes, right now. And I commit myself unto you. Wash me with thy most precious blood. Forgive me of all my sins, for he is a God full of compassion and love and mercy. Yes, as his nature is revealed in Exodus, we read in chapter 34. And he is the truth and he has forgiven our sins. He will forgive us of our sins. Yes, and he's gracious God. Yes. And he's the maker of every, everything, heaven and earth. As we read Psalm 121, verse 1. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who's the maker of heaven and earth. Respect him, beloved. Respect him. For the word says in Zechariah 1, 3, Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. It says, Return to me, I will, I will return to you. And he is faithful to his promise. Yes, as we read in Joshua 21, verse 45. Every good thing that God has promised will not fail. It will be done. It will be done. It will be done. Yes, he is a loving God. He is next to you and to me. Yes, and he has given us eternal life. Yes, he is the living waters, John 4.10. The living waters which is from him. We may thirst with this water which we drink, but he who drinks of the living waters, yes, will never thirst. And he is the bread of life. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded from his mouth. The words are true, as we read in Matthew 4, 4, beloved. Yes, for the word is saying to you and to me, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Yes, the words are true. Matthew 6, verse 34. Yes, the birds we see, they do not sow, they do not reap, but God provides them. Yes, every morning when we get up, we see the birds are praising the Lord. They're humming, they're praising the Lord. Yes, they're thanking him. And he takes care of them. Let us also praise him all the times. Every second, every moment, let us thank him. For his loving kindness in the morning and his faithfulness at night. Yes, it is true. As we read in Psalm 92, verse 2. Yes, my beloved. Yes, he's there with us. He will give you everything. What we cannot buy, he will give us everything. The wisdom, the knowledge, everything he will give us. Hallelujah. Yes, one small life in God's great plan. How futile it seems as the ages rule. Do what it may, or strive how it was, and it can, to alter the sweep of the infinite whole. A single stitch in the endless web, a drop in the ocean's flow or ebb, but the pattern is rent where the stitch is lost, or marred where the tangled threads have crossed. And each life that fails of true intent mars the perfect plan that its master meant. Remember. The awful truth that I can limit the Christ's power in the present, although I can never alter God's almighty order for a moment, there is niches in God's own temple. It is thine and the hand that shapes thee, for it is divine. So, beloved, always remember, yes, just see, 
let thy will be done as read in john 6 38 for from the beginning he knows the end as read in isaiah 46 verse 10 and the word is saying in isaiah 46 verse 4 as read the mighty word he will carry me even in my gray hair and old age so do not worry cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you as we read in 1 peters 5 7 there's great joy in his presence beloved Yes, when we receive Christ, there is great joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8.10. So be filled with the, with the peace, with the grace, with the blessings, and also with all your needs today be blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves me. As we read in Isaiah, it is speaking to us in 43, verse 4. Yes, that we are precious in his sight, we are honored. The word is saying to you and to me, I love you. Jesus Christ is saying to you and to me, beloved. I love you, he says to us. And also, he will give men in exchange for us. Yes, he's a mighty God. He can do everything. And none of his purpose can be withheld from him. As we read in the mighty word in Job 42, verse 2. So be blessed today. Yes, let us praise Lord Jesus Christ every day. Do remember to listen do the channel arise and shine? Yes, every day. That is Alfred Rathod and family. Arise and shine channel. Alfred Rathod and family. May Jesus Christ bless each one of us. Hallelujah. Amen.